we see Jesus after God speaks audibly and speaks identity over him. We see that he's led by the Spirit into the wilderness. And not just to go have a party in the wilderness. He's led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Really interesting here. The Holy Spirit is the one that's leading him and guiding him into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So this isn't an accident. This isn't just some occurrence, but it's an intentional meeting that has been predestined for Jesus to have. And here's the reason why we see in Genesis, we see Adam and Eve, they're placed in the garden. And God gives them some instruction. He says, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And we see Satan, the devil, he comes along and he tempts and Adam eats of the fruit. And and it sin enters into the world and and things <laughs> go from there. And now we see a picture, Jesus, the last Adam, in a redeeming moment for humanity and for mankind as the tempter would come. And it is a moment and it is a time of restoration. So the Spirit has led Jesus into this time. And as Jesus is getting ready to head into this encounter with the devil, he fasts. He decides to fast. The scripture says that he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Out of all the things that Jesus would decide to do to prepare himself for this encounter, he chooses to fast. We see the Christ, the anointed one. God in the flesh, this is the thing that he chooses to prepare himself. He chooses to abstain from food. Not from social media, not from social media, not from television, but from food. He chooses to abstain from food. And it wasn't just what he was abstaining from, but it's what he was seeking and grabbing a hold of. And this is what, what fasting does. Fasting realigns us. It reorients us. It helps us uh, put our focus back on God and the things that we, we need to have them on. Fasting also, it, it allows us to see the things in our life that have control over us. Control over our heart, control over our souls, the things that are making things cloudy. And oftentimes, what we do is these things that are controlling us, they usually can be covered <laughs> by food. And there are many other things that we cover them up in as well. But I don't think it's a coincidence that what Jesus is doing here as he enters into this fast, that he is choosing to abstain from food. And as this is happening, obviously he gets, he gets hungry. And here comes the tempter. Satan comes into the picture. And as they begin to have this encounter, the first thing the devil does is he questions what God has spoken about Jesus. He says, if you are the son of God, then turn these stones into bread. So he is, he's requesting, he's tempting, he's Asking Jesus to use your divinity, use your sonship, use your power to feed yourself. If, if you are who they say you are, then you can do this. The devil comes in direct opposition to Jesus' fast. He comes in opposition to the, the, the building up of his, of his spirit man. Of aligning himself with God. Of him having his focus centered on God. He comes in direct opposition of that. And Jesus is able to respond. And he says, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. 
He's not saying he won't ever eat again. Don't get scared out there. But what he's saying is, it's not bread alone that I need to sustain me. But it's every word that comes from the mouth of God. It's the word of God. It's my relationship with him. It's my connection with him. It's the spiritual food that I receive that I need to prioritize in my life over anything physical that is happening. You would think that maybe Jesus would be more focused on his physical strength and his physical presence as Satan would come and tempt him, but it's not. It's his spirit. He wanted to make sure that he had a strong and a healthy spirit. And it was out of this place that he was able to say these things. As Satan comes directly against his flesh and this hunger that is happening in him, he's able to respond out of this place of having a healthy and a strong spirit. 